<laughs> it's like black and white, but my eyes are red. And I'm just, uh, I think dabbing is a lifestyle. Yeah, <laughs> a self-described <laughs> waste man in quotations. Oh no, God, my my career in in the public eye is is tarnished forever. Oh. My goodness, but that's all right. I want you to fame, pick up the trash. Fame and fortune is not for everyone. No. What are we... What's this guy doing sitting down? Is he going to play? Who is this man? Uh, I recognize him, but I don't... You don't know who him. he is? He's, um... Come on, uh, dude. Billy Savage. Throw some names at me. Am I 64? playing... Oh, yeah, I'm playing 64. All right, Lemons. Finally. No, it was Lemons coming at you. Oh. Bear with me for one moment, chat. I'm going to go read the chat. So we've got like 30 something viewers. This is the biggest audience I've ever had. Might have to start subconsciously or subliminally even working in some political messaging to what I'm saying. Try to use my platform for good. Because that's what's really important. You know, at the end of the day, this is just a game. But the world has uh, got some issues. And I'm here on the front lines trying to solve them. Do you want to commentate? Oh. Nobody wants. Kaylin, do you want to go find someone? Is anyone going to commentate? Get sorry, dude. I need him. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, dude. It's your boy. Miles. Don B. Dobney. Coming at you. From the sticks to the, the ear cuffs. Muffs. Yeah. How, How are you man? enjoying double so far, man? It's been hype. It's been chill. Yeah. I like the shine combo you did. Thank you. And also the other shine combo you did, where you like shined him and shined him, and then jumped all the way out and shined him again. Yeah, we were just like, because they, they don't have any off, like they're not ready for the off stage players. And they're not fast enough. You just really were faster than them. Yeah, uh, more coordinated, I'd say. Yeah, was that winners finals? Nah, winners finals is going to be Kami and Thingo, probably Kami and Davox. Oh, it's it's this is uh, going to be another winners semis match, probably Kai I think Kami and Kalen. And Davox will win. Yeah, it would be Kai and Kalen. Yep, so that's going to play out, and then we'll play the winner of that, and then... And oh. The sad thing about the state of... Well, I guess there aren't that many teams here. There's not that. It's not like everyone's here, but it, it just over so fast. Yeah. I just want to play more doubles, you know? Yeah. Sucks. Better hit that net play doubles. Yeah, we hit some net... Me and Sora hit quite a bit of net play doubles. For a while, we were taking best of threes on any connection better than, like, 50 ping or under. 
and we would, it was like a free money match. Like, we would give them 50 if they won. Oh, shit. Best of three, and like, they stake nothing. That's good. We were just doing it to try to drum up some doubles action. Yeah. So we've got probably a loser's match here. Oh. So I, was, I uh, just, I feel like Muskie and Catherine, there's no, it's all, there's, it's all butter, no bread. Who's doing the damage? Who's, where are the setups? Yeah, I mean, there are none. I mean, the thing about Catherine is she's not really like a, a dedicated melee player. Like, she comes to weeklies, but she's like, taking that much time to learn the tech skill, which is fair enough. Like, it's not for everyone to be like a grinder. No, it's not. You're right. And, you know, if they can make it this far as a, a sibling duo, then that's That's chill. pretty awesome, yeah. I guess I'm just longing for some... Yeah, I mean, Some you would have been, had more competition potentially with like a, a Flow Rats musket, but even then they yeah, didn't have the like yeah. grinded out setups. But they had a bit more kind of like. Well, no one really has the. Game no one has the really grinded out setups, but at least there'd be like two characters on the screen that are trying to cover each other. Yeah. I think Catherine's problem is, and like her biggest weakness as a player is like she'll just look at what's happening on the screen and do the most immediately obvious thing a lot of the time. Yeah. That's like. Yeah, like, I can see why you dashed it out there. I was in front of you. We're all kind of, like, waiting around for that exact thing to happen. Yeah. And, like, often in singles it can work out decently well because, like, she's playing basic oh. risk-reward and stuff. Yeah. And if you're Zai and you play Fox and you're not that clean some of the time, you might get clipped. Yeah, if you're down smash enough times, like, in a decent winning position, you're going to... Yeah. It's kind of like also Musket's problem to a lesser extent, or it has been in the past. Yeah, I He's a very goal-oriented player. He's yeah. always like fixated on his next like kill, where it's coming from, and like that's he he sees the path, which is good, but like he takes a very direct route a lot of yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, you can't play your hand so face up. Yeah, it's a game of uh, deception. It's true. I think they call that mix-ups, as they Nick. I've heard the term. Well, I'll have to look into I have that. always called it mind games, personally. I've always <laughs> called it uh, guessies. Guessies, right. But yeah, it's... it's uh, dubs is a really fun format, man. I, I think it's actually really underrated. I love dubs. Yeah, I could see me enjoying it if I like wanted to get really good at something new. There's like a whole different element to it, and a lot of stuff is just like... I'd say the pressure of like not executing and like my team may be let down. Me and Sora though, like we don't really talk about that's so, like we just acknowledge like if if one of us loses the set on a back of mistake, it's like you've like that happened. Yeah. But no one really harps on it and it's like we, we understand that as a team it's not always gonna be like the best possible gameplay and we're kinda just have acknowledged that. It's I like what I really can't really let him down. Yeah. I think what really turned me off teams was like my first few interstate team experiences I played with like Billy. Oh, and like just yelled at you Billy's the whole time? really good. He didn't yell at me. Like he's really good at teams. It just like felt like I was letting it down, and I definitely was. But um, yeah. I like, I, he wasn't like trying teams. to be like negative at all. I think Billy has a very like. He's like I'm Puff, and I'm gonna like stall over here. It's like Mewtwo, it's like Mewtwo King being good at teams. He's not playing a team game. Like he's not helping his friend. He's Billy just, like, was, he was. He was doing alright. He was just like telling me things to do, and I was like executing them poorly, and he was being like frustrated, but you know, in a reasonable way. So I wasn't executing. Yeah. But I'm like, I think, you know, I just want to be responsible for my own destiny, you know. I think pickup game teams, and like, it's the same as pickup Counter Strike versus like a team that have practiced certain plays, and yeah, like it's almost not the same game. You know, like, if you play team with one guy once, it's like, you guys almost can't expect to be picking stuff up, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just know what Sora's gonna do at every avenue. But yeah, back to this match. Oh yeah, there's a match happening. So I don't know about Ness. I feel like Ness is actually kind of useless in teams. Ness is better in teams than he is in singles, 100%. I disagree. I feel like in singles, at least you can like dash dance grab or something. Ness can just fish for his big hits. But he doesn't have any big hits. He just fish for back hits. I think Ness is atrocious in teams. I like it's insane how hard Ruben like Samus has to carry in this team lineup. 
Like, Ruben is like the, the stock tank and also like the main damage dealer and also like the only one who can really close out stocks. Yeah, Jamwa's main role is to not get hit too much. Like, yeah. he can't do much, so he can't risk much, you know? I think if I was going to play one of Jamie's characters in teams and keep the low tier flavor, it'd be like his Pikachu or something. And just like fish for like tail spikes, try and get the cheeky kills. Because yeah. this doesn't have that like explosive kill factor. He can get some dips though and like he can hit some baseball bats. I don't know man. I, think I just feel like his whole like patterns that he has to set up in order to get anything. That was good, but like even then, what's gonna happen? Ness did his job there. Ness is doing his job right now. Yeah, absolutely. And I, like, no, nothing on Jamie. I just feel like a lot of other characters have way more potential to make something happen. 100% there better characters than Ness. Yeah. You, you are right. I would agree with that. Good analysis. <laughs> Whether Gemma wants to play as those characters, though, that's a different yeah. story. Yeah, I mean, he kind of lives the Ness lifestyle, you know? It's all about it. Everything about Ness he loves. I mean, fair enough. He's a swag kind of guy. Oh, is this a comeback? Yeah. Although well, yeah. Musket isn't great against Samus with Fox. Yeah, it's not easy. It's a tough one. And Ruben, this is his bread and butter. Yeah, that's... That, I think that missile may have actually killed him. Yeah. I mean, it only dropped him by like a centimeter, but it might have been the difference. Yeah. Muskie will be annoyed by that. Because I know he's like trying to make solo Fox a thing. And his Fox is definitely better than his Peach at this point. But like, this is the one matchup where it's like, his Fox has just never been able to do it against Ruben. Yeah. You need to be an in-control gamer to win that. Yeah. That's true. Ready, go. Is that a yo-yo glitch? I think it is. He set it up. I don't know where the... Yeah, okay. I don't exactly know how the yo-yo glitch works. But I know that you have to fish with, like, up smash and then do a hitbox. Yeah. Look, man, I'm not going to pretend to care about low tiers. <laughs> this double peach, I don't know, man. You know the strat of uh, shooting a charge shot into Ness's down here? Oh, I heal him? High level. How much is it healing for? I don't know. But, you I want to see that. It's the only healing mechanic in the game, so respect. <laughs> I wonder, like, what about Game Watch's bucket? Yeah, that's a good too. Or, like, playing Fox again, Fox with Ness, and, like, shooting Fox lasers at Ness. We'll probably heal him quite a bit. And you can do it, like, kind of. Would not heal him as safely as a charge shot, because you'd have to be, like, ooh, for way longer, you know? Yeah, but you can just kind of do them on the fly, like, every now and then. No, turning it on takes ages, though, man. It takes, like, 10 or 15 frames to activate. Yeah. And then turning it off. I think turning it off the part it takes ages like that. This definitely like sounds like a 3 a.m. conversation I've had with Jamie <laughs> at some stage. Oh yeah. Oh, did you know that if he tries to absorb Fox's lasers in a 1v1 and you're a stock ahead, you can just walk him into it and win again? <laughs> That's like, really funny. It's stalling though. Is there like a, a limit on how, you, how long you can do that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's considered Because I know most of the stalling rules in the game are like percent based. What do you mean? Well, they're like, you can't wobble above 300%. Yeah, but like, you can't freeze glitch. You can't do anything that like freezes the state of the game. I know that Fox's shine does the same thing. You can lock Fox into shine with lasers. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You get stuck. There you go. Yeah. So if you're waiting for your teammate to get back... You take a lot of his though, because you're facing him. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You got the fox, he's sitting there at 150%. He's across the stage, shining. You just trap him in shine for like... 30 seconds while your teammate dies, and then comes back and upsides him. Top tier strat. <laughs> you think that would have happened at least once? I think that might actually never happen, and may have never happened. 
imagine all the factors that like you have to know that the fox is gonna be you have reflecting to, like, and then you have just to, like, keep spam just, just start spamming lasers and pray he does like a running shot. But even then, like most people get out of their running shot before like most of the reflecting grants. It's true, yeah. Ooh, get absolutely F smash. This is surprising to me that uh Team Musket is losing. Why is that surprising? I don't know, I expected them to have just like the the real nice risk reward stuff, you know? Samus is just the Charger, they just they just want a down smash, you know? Yeah. You can't be fiending this hard. And Musket really struggling to close out stuffs on Ruben. I mean he kinda got there eventually, but he left himself very open in that whole edge guarding process. Chaos right now. See, look, these charge shots. This charge shot's gonna hit, kill somebody. Yeah. I would just sh just shot the platform, said go up. Go for it. I thought they were gonna drop a little platform. That's what I would have done. Jemwa's charging, he wants to get healed. Yeah, Jemwa's on high percent. I want to yeah. see Jamwa get healed. Heal Jamwa. Oh. Jamwa was about to get healed. We'll never know, dude. We'll I really want to know how much it heals for. Yeah. What do you reckon? Does it heal for the full like damage amount? I think it probably does. Like 20? What is the charge shot? Like 25? Yeah. Back to Fox. I think this is a better team pick. This is a way better team pick. just got scared off by the uh, 1v1 with the Samus. He needs the team, the, he needs the killing power. Yeah. Two Peaches, where's the killing power? Especially if neither of them are going for edge guards. Yeah. And like, Dreamlight is a stupid double-edged sword. Double Peach against Samus. Like, Ruben lived forever. Yeah, I agree. And he also has like, the killing power of Charge Shot. Yeah. Yeah, the charge shot did a lot of work last game, actually. Yeah, it really did. I've actually seen Ruben counterpick Musket's Peach to Dreamland before and win, so... Yeah, it gives him more room to camp, dude. Yeah. He can interact less, and interacting for him with Peach is bad. The worst stage in the matchup would be, like, Yoshi, right? Maybe. I actually don't know how it pans out. Maybe like sound is really bad. But yeah, like the Peach has all of those moves that have like pretty high knockback pretty early, like there. And like there. So I can see Yoshi's being pretty bad. He just ate that up smash yeah. and crash canceled it. Musket just commits so hard. He's either double jumping or like letting an up smash go, you know? Yeah. It's pretty like crazy read from Ruben to just like be holding down doing nothing. Crazy 200 IQ Samus holds down. You'll never guess what he's up to. <laughs> yeah, I mean he was just standing in the middle of nowhere, like not doing any move holding down. Yeah. Waiting for Why Musket not to hold smash down. It. Like, like you had to uh, you had to think Musket was gonna try to drill or something, surely. He hasn't done a single drill all game. I haven't seen a drill. Yeah. Let's watch the fox. Yeah, no drills there. He's playing a very like full hop heavy style as well. Oh my, that could have been <laughs> so big. He should have just let his charge shot rip, it would have covered everything. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that up the idea was. Oh, the team combos are starting to come out. Oh. Hey, Kai, do you know if uh, Davin and Kaelin have played? They'll be on stream, surely. That'll be next. It'll be me and Kaelin versus them next. That's like Winner Semis, right? No. No, wait, no. It's me and Mems. It's actually Mems, JSI next. And me and Kaelin next. Kami and Devox are in Winner's finals. So we've got to do Losers. Oh, they already made it. They already made it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we're doing all of Losers now? No, we're doing the next two games. And then... 
Yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Anyway, while you were talking, Jamie popped up. He hit a baseball bat, and then he hit it in uh, edge guard with the up B. Jamie's like, gonna win this fight. Dude. Jamie's gonna win this, by the way. He's not. There's no way. Oh no! Can't believe Muskin went for that angle. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you just go up? Nah, I can't scare this. All right, you win. Oh, that's a three F. The psychic bond of sibling ship is over. Loses. Well, melee isn't a game about psychic bonds. Well, psychic bonds, no. It's often a game about it's tech a, skill an and execution. Coverage. Yeah. And yeah, situational knowledge. Yeah. I've just had this running joke every time I see Muskin and Catherine talking that Muskin's just like telling Catherine to like, just for once in your life, you just hit this edge guard. Like, <laughs> get it together, Catherine. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of what he's yeah. saying.